Since Russia's invasion began in 2014, Ukraine's military has transformed from an underfunded and ill-equipped service into a modern, powerful fighting force. With over 200,000 military personnel and millions of dollars in investment, Ukraine now has one of Europe's largest armies. While Russian hybrid forces continue sporadic attacks in the country's east, more Ukrainian troops are being trained in NATO standards to protect Ukraine's sovereignty for years to come. History, hardware, and heroism. Welcome to Ukraine in uniform. They're a relatively small team possessing the military skills needed for success. Boldness, quickness, and leadership. Their actions are coordinated. They skillfully use any weapon. The soldiers seem to come straight out of the movies, but these are the real fighters of the mobile detachment of the State Border Guard Service of Ukraine. The men are ready to do everything possible to protect them, their families, and most importantly, their country from danger. It's the border guard's responsibility to protect the homeland. The function of this detachment is to fulfill the tasks assigned to the State Border Guard Service of Ukraine. It doesn't have a particular area of responsibility. The mobile detachment fulfills its mission depending on the threat. The combat actions in eastern Ukraine constantly prove to be a threat for Border Guard Service fighters. Their primary task is to stop violations along the border. Currently we're training. We've been practicing detaining perpetrators who have tried to smuggle drugs, weapons and ammunition into Ukraine. The training mission involves 8 to 12 border guards. This detachment includes a rapid response group and a reinforcement group which organizes an all-around defense. Document checking are involved as well. Agility and teamwork can't be achieved immediately. The border guards practice using weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat skills daily. We improve our skills, which we learned earlier practicing hand-to-hand -hand combat. Physical training plays an important part as well. We do morning exercises and practice hand-to-hand -hand combat. We repeat it every day. The mobile detachment of State Border Guard Service of Ukraine requires various types of weapons, tools, and vehicles in order to effectively carry out its combat tasks. The detachment personnel know how to use all the weapons that are in service because every soldier must be ready to replace his comrade at any time. Soldiers must be able to not only use weapons, but also routine equipment. Our detachment uses a variety of weapons. Several weapon systems are represented here. The silent gun with a firing range of up to 50 meters. Its magazine capacity consists of eight 9 by 18 bullets. Then we have the Stetchkin automatic pistol with a firing range of up to 200 meters. Its magazine capacity is 20 bullets. And here's the Kalashnikov shortened assault rifle, AKS 74U. Its firing range is 500 meters and its magazine capacity is 20 bullets. 
The next gun is the AK-74M with a GP-25 rifle attached grenade launcher. Its firing range is 1,000 meters and the magazine capacity is 30 bullets. Here's the light anti-tank grenade launcher RPG-7V with a firing range of 500 meters. Its effective range is up to 300 meters. We also work with the Droganov sniper rifle SVD. Its firing range without optical sniper sight is up to 1,200 meters, while optical sniper sight allows increasing the firing range to 1,300 meters. Its magazine capacity is 10 7.62 by 54 millimeter bullets. As for squadron weaponry, the next gun is the Kalashnikov machine gun, PKM. Its firing range reaches 1,500 meters. The feed system, non-disintegrating belts with 100 and 200 bullets. Here's the automatic grenade launcher AGS-17 with a firing range from 50 to 1,700 meters. The feed system is a belt with 29 grenades. And here you see the DSHKM heavy machine gun. Its firing range is 1,300 meters. The feed system is a 50 bullet ammunition belt. The machine gun has been already used during battles in Eastern Ukraine and has proven itself well. This machine gun strikes lightly armored vehicles at a distance of up to two kilometers. This is the marksmanship training of the shooting team. It is conducted to perfect teamwork using various weapon systems, like short-barreled guns, automatic weapons, and other guns used by the detachment. The type of weapon depends on the task to be fulfilled. One of the most important priorities during training is to have visual contact between group members. Servicemen should follow each other in order to prevent walking along the firing line during weapons training and to protect comrades in order to save their lives during a mission. The main objective of our unit is the safety of every soldier. Every group has engineers, paramedics, machine gunners, snipers, automatic riflemen, as well as stormtroopers, drivers, grenade launcher operators, and their assistants. Thus, every soldier and every serviceman is an integral part of the unit. The border guards also use the armored vehicles to perform duties for border protection and to ensure the servicemen's and commander's safety. Now you can see one of the armored vehicles used by the border guards. The Cougar is a domestically produced armored vehicle. The vehicle is designed for urban combat. Its armored body and bulletproof glass ensure the crew's protection from firing a 7 by 51 millimeter NATO cartridge at a distance of 10 meters. Nine people can fit in this car, three in the front of the vehicle and six in the troop compartment. On each side of the Cougar is equipped with small observation windows and loopholes for small arms firing. The light armored vehicle can be equipped with different modules armed with 7.62 mm and 12.7 mm machine guns and a 40 mm automatic grenade launcher. It's a comfortable vehicle despite the fact that it is used for combat. <sighs> The developers tried to do everything to meet the needs of soldiers. The vehicle provides for the safety of the personnel. This is the troop compartment. A serviceman can easily evacuate in case of an emergency or any other unexpected situation. This vehicle can also be used to take out wounded and deceased. Fortunately, there have been no such cases in our squad. We hope that this good fortune continues into the future. The gunner operates in this turret, which rotates 360 degrees, allowing the gunner to effectively carry out his duties. 
хорошу можливість прицілитися та влучити в ціль виконати свою роботу. Захист бійця. These loopholes provide for the protection of soldiers and allow them to keep a close eye on the surrounding area. Огляд прилеглої території. В основному це машина, яка застосовується Basically, this armed vehicle is designed to perform in urban areas because it is fast and maneuverable. This light armored vehicle has already been used and field tested in the conflict zones in eastern Ukraine, where it has received a positive assessment. The Cougar has saved many soldiers' lives. Psychologists are constantly working with the servicemen in order to assist them in dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. The soldiers are always coping with severe psychological disorders. We are trying different methods to help our patients. Before performing any task, we carry out individual interviews with each soldier. During these interviews, we focus on his confidence and morale in order to understand whether he is ready to perform a combat mission or not. We are using different individual methods to make sure that a serviceman is ready for the battlefield. Our border guards perform many dangerous duties. The threats which occurred during during the execution of the mission, bring soldiers together. I can confidently say that our squad is like a real family. The interaction between soldiers is achieved through regular training in boot camps as well as in the conflict zone. The guards have repeatedly demonstrated courage and professionalism while executing combat tasks in eastern Ukraine's conflict zones. Our detachment creates real men from recruits. I can rely on comrades who are able to support me at any time. This is one of the many reasons why I serve in the mobile detachment of the State Border Guard Service of Ukraine. The men who serve in this detachment have passed all their examinations and have undergone the necessary training. I want to emphasize that all of them are patriots of Ukraine. The greatest moment is when we come back after a combat mission and call our relatives, our parents, our wives and our children to say that we are okay. We all feel so much better after speaking to our family. You know that someone's waiting for you and your life has purpose. We don't think of ourselves as heroes. The people we are protecting can draw their own conclusions about us. The servicemen featured in this program all have one common trait, to protect Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. It's these people who take up arms and risk their lives to defend Europe's eastern border from any major attack in the future.